I'm going to be showing you, um, <laughs> is she looking at me? Today I'm going to be showing you um, a few different hairstyles that you can wear for different Christmas parties or holiday parties, even New Year's Eve, any type of holiday-ish event that you might be going to that would work perfectly if you want to dress yourself up a little bit, if you're going to um, glam yourself up a little bit. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> and today's video is actually a collab with Ali Kay. I'm sorry to do this, Alexa, but I need to put a thumbnail on top of your face. <laughs> so if you want to check out Ali's video, make sure you click it right here and you can go check out her video. Video. Video, that's right. Video. Yeah, video. Alexa yeah. says go check out her video, make sure you subscribe. She puts out really awesome videos. And you don't want to miss this one. I've been watching her on YouTube for actually a long time now. So it's really cool that we get to collab. Um, and if any of you guys are coming over from Allie's channel, hello and welcome to my channel. I really hope you stick around and make sure to click the subscribe button to see more of my videos. And without further ado, let's try not to make this intro super long. Let's just go ahead and get right into the hairstyles. <laughs> So before we get started, I'm actually using second day hair for all these hairstyles, so I just went ahead and sprayed some dry shampoo, and I'm using the Patisse one because it is my absolute favorite, and I'm just massaging that into my hair. And then going to start with the first hairstyle by separating the front sections of hair away from the back, and I'm just using a headband to separate those. You can always use a clip just to clip them in the front, but I just thought this was easy enough for me. And then I just went ahead and I took the top section of my hair, like right around the crown of my head, and I started doing a Dutch French braid. And it's really easy if you know how to do a French braid, instead of pulling the strands of hair over, you're just gonna pull them underneath. And if you don't know how to do a French braid, you basically wanna start doing a normal braid and then add sections of hair with every time you cross over a piece of braid. But in this case, where we're doing a Dutch braid, you wanna cross them under. And then you just want to go ahead and secure that with a hair elastic. And then to make the braid look even more chunky and thick, I decided to just go ahead and pull the strands of braids. And then you just want to take the ponytail and literally just flip it like kind of under and inside the braid. And if this is so much easier than it looks, it literally just slides right in there. And then you just want to take some bobby pins and secure it in place. And it looks super cute like this, but I decided to add just a little something extra, and if you don't want to add the extra braids, then you can totally just leave it like that. But I left the strands of hair in the front so that I could make two small braids, and once I braided um, one side, I pulled the braid a little bit just to make it a little bit thicker, just like we did for the back braid. And when you're done pulling it and making it thicker, you just want to pin it to the back of your head, um, going right into the Dutch braid that you already made. And then again, you just want to go ahead and do that with the other side. So when you're done, you get this really, like, really cute, like, textured boho, like, braided up to kind of thing, and I think it is so pretty. For this next one, basically you want to pull most of your hair to the back of your head but leave um, front section on one side and you want to make a really deep side part. And you'll see why in just a minute, but you just want to tie back the rest of your hair just so it's not in the way. And then we're going to start doing a Dutch French braid with the section of hair that you left out in the front. And if you don't have bangs, you can totally braid your, um, the front of your hair right into this, but I like to keep my bangs out. So that's what I did. And then of course, naturally, I just pulled the braid apart to make it a little bit thicker because I don't know, I find braids just look so much nicer when they're a little bit thicker, a little bit more full. And then I just took the braid, I tied it off, and then I wrapped it around my hair, which I have all pulled to one side. So basically I have like a side ponytail thing going on. And then I just take an elastic and I'm just tying that so that it's not gonna go anywhere. So I actually have a side ponytail. And then I just took the first elastic from the braid out of there. 
And then I just took a small chunk of hair and put it around the ponytail and secured it with a bobby pin. And then you want to grab a comb and start teasing because this is how we're going to make like the bubble in the bubble ponytail. So you just want to tease it until it kind of makes a bubble, I guess you'd say. And then you want to tie it off and again use a strand of hair to cover the elastic. And if you have smaller elastics, this would work so much better, like the little clear ones. But I didn't have any of those, so I, you know, just had to do use with what I had. So I did the same thing to the bottom half of the hair, but instead of doing the bubble, I did a braid. And if you have longer hair, you could totally do another bubble underneath of the braid, but I didn't have enough hair. So I just went for that. And since I didn't have enough hair at the bottom of the braid to cover the elastic, I used a red bow. So for this hairstyle, the beginning part is all completely the same as the last one. So you have the Dutch braid um, around the top of your head, but instead of um, making a bubble side pony, I just decided to curl the ends because I thought it would look really, really cute like this too. So basically, instead of doing the braided bubble ponytail, you're just going to curl the ends of your hair and you have a curly side ponytail. Okay, so this last one is super classic and you probably already know how to do this but I had to throw it in here because I don't know what it is about this hairstyle but for me it just seems really really Christmassy. So basically you just want to take a comb and pull your hair into a really high ponytail and I don't know if it's just me but I always find my ponytails are a little bit sideways and I can never get them to be right in the middle of my head and it drives me nuts but it's just the way it is. And anyways you just want to take a comb and tease your ponytail just so that it's thick and textured and then once you have the, desi the desired texture you just want to go ahead and wrap it around your ponytail in a bun shape and secure it with some bobby pins and then you can just take a little red ribbon and tie it around your bun in a little bow and it looks super cute and super Christmassy and it kind of makes me feel like Tinkerbell but I think it is perfect Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, make sure to go check out Ali's video and make sure to subscribe to her channel and like all of her videos and whatnot because they're awesome. And if, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. I'd love to see you around. I think I have one more holiday video coming up before Christmas. And then of course New Year's videos and the What I Got for Christmas video. That's going to be going up really soon. So yeah, that is it for today, guys. I really hope you liked the video. And I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye! Look up there. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> Oh, no, she can see her Christmas present. <laughs> She's probably looking right at it. She's like, ooh. <laughs> this is my niece. Is that recording? Is <laughs> she wants She's to She's looking it. right at it. Quick, hide it. I'm not hiding it. I'm not Put a blanket on I'm it. I'm not moving it. <laughs> you don't. You can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Right at it. <laughs> You're such a squirmy worm. Oh my God. <laughs> I seen a picture on um, Facebook, and it was like, um, it's the beginning lyrics of this song, and it was like, um, um, I really can't stay, but baby, it's cold out. And she's like, I got to go away, and he's like, Okay, I respect your decision. I won't press you into doing anything that you don't want to do. And I'll do. Would you like some tea to go? <laughs> Else, yeah. I thought of you. <laughs> Turn this off. <laughs> Something uh, about a sprinkle of vanilla and a chinchilla. chinchilla. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Who is that? I, don't I think know. it's exhibit.